World War II losses of the Soviet Union from all related causes were about 27 million, both civilian and military, although exact figures are disputed. The 20 million number was considered official during the Soviet era. The post-Soviet government of Russia puts the Soviet war losses at 26.6 million, on the basis of the 1993 study by the Russian Academy of Sciences, including people dying as a result of battle and war-related exposure. This includes 8,668,400 military deaths as calculated by the Russian Ministry of Defense. The figures published by the Russian Ministry of Defense have been accepted by most historians outside Russia. See Western Scholars table below. However, the official figure of 8.7 million military deaths has been disputed by some Russian historians who believe that the number of dead and missing POWs is not correct and new research is necessary to determine actual losses. Officials at the Russian Central Defense Ministry Archive CDMA maintain that their database lists the names of roughly 14 million dead and missing service personnel. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev stated in 2009 that, "...data about our losses haven't been revealed yet we must determine the historical truth." He added that more than 2.4 million people are still officially considered missing in action. Of the 9.5 million persons buried in mass graves, 6 million are unidentified. Some Russian politicians and journalists put the total number of losses in the war, both civilian and military, at over 40 million. Topic. Military losses Topic. Krivashiv's analysis 1993 Russian Ministry of Defense report authored by a group headed by General G. I. Krivashiv detailed military casualties. Their sources were Soviet reports from the field and other archive documents that were secret during the Soviet era, including a secret Soviet general staff report from 1966-68. Krivashiv's study put Soviet military dead and missing at 8.7 million and is often cited by historians. In April 2016 the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation issued a statement that put Soviet military war dead at 8.8 .8 million. Krivashiv maintains that the figure of 8.668 million is correct because it excludes called up reservists that were never inducted, men who were duplicated as conscripts because they were conscripted again into the Soviet Army and Navy during the war as territories were being liberated and non combat related causes. The statistic of 8.668 million military dead includes only the combat-related deaths of the forces in the field units of the Army and Navy A1 and does not include civilian support forces in rear areas, conscripted reservists killed before being listed on active strength, militia units, and Soviet partisan dead. Krivashiv maintains that they should be included with civilian war losses. The schedule below summarizes Soviet casualties from 1941 to 1945. 
Krivashiv's analysis shows that 4,559,000 were reported missing including 3,396,400 per field reports and an additional 1,162,600 estimated based on German documents, out of which 500,000 were missing and presumed dead, 939,700 were reconstructed scripted during the war as territories were liberated, 1,836,000 returned to the USSR after the war, while the balance of 1,283,300 died in German captivity as POWs or did not return to the USSR. Krivashov wrote. According to German sources 673,000 died in captivity. Of the remaining 1,110,300, Soviet sources indicate that over half also died in captivity. Sources published outside of Russia put total POW dead at 3.0 million. Krivashiv maintains that this figure based on German sources includes civilian personnel that were not included in the reports of the Army and Navy field forces. In a 1999 article Krivashiv noted that after the war 180,000 liberated POWs did not return to the USSR and most likely settled in other countries. Krivashiv did not mention this in the English language translation of his study. According to declassified documents from the Soviet archives 960,039 surviving Soviet military POW were turned over to the Soviet authorities by the Western powers and 865,735 were released by the Soviet forces in territory they occupied. Discharged during war of 9,693,000 includes 3,798,200 sent on sick leave, 3,614,600 transferred to work in industry, anti-aircraft defense and armed guards, 1,174,600 sent to NKVD troops and organs, 250,000 1,400 transferred to Polish, Czechoslovak and Romanian armies, 436,600 imprisoned, 206,000 discharged, and 212,400 missing in rear areas. During the war 422,700 men were sent to penal units at the front and not discharged. The June 1945 force strength of 12,840,000 included 11,390,600 on active service, 1,046,000 in hospital, and 403,200 in civilian departments. Krivashiv's group estimated losses for the early part of the war, because from 1941–1942 no surrounded or defeated divisions reported their casualties. Thus field reports from that period are regarded by historians as unreliable. Total wounded and sick includes 15,205,592 wounded, 3,047,675 sick and 90,881 frostbite cases. Field reports stated the number of wounded and sick as 18,344,148, while the records of the military medical service show a total of 22,326,905. According to Krivashiv the difference can be explained by the fact that the medical service included sick personnel who did not take part in the fighting. Criticism of Krivashiv 
Krivashiv's analysis has generally been accepted by historians, however, his study has been disputed by some independent researchers in Russia. His critics maintain that he underestimated the number of missing in action and POW deaths and deaths of service personnel in rear area hospitals. Mahmoud Gharib, former deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of the USSR, maintains that the published information on Soviet casualties is the work of the individual authors and not based on official data. According to Gariev the Russian government has not disclosed the actual losses in the war. Topic: <laughs> Summary of Soviet losses listed in Krivashiv. Notes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> POW deaths. Western historians estimate 3.3 million dead out of 5.7 million total Soviet POW captured. According to German figures 5,734,000 Soviet POWs were taken between the 22nd of June 1941 and the end of the war, roughly 5.7 million members of the Red Army fell into German hands. In January 1945, 930,000 were still in German camps. A million at most had been released, most of whom were so-called volunteers Hilfswillage for often compulsory auxiliary service in the Wehrmacht. Another 500,000, as estimated by the Army High Command, had either fled or been liberated. The remaining 3,300,000 of the total had perished. However, according to Krivashiv the Germans claimed to have captured up to 5.750 million POWs. He maintains that the figures in Nazi propaganda included civilians and military reservists that were caught up in the German encirclements. Krivashiv puts the number of Soviet military POW that actually were sent to the camps at 4,059,000. Krivashiv maintained that the figure of 3.0 million POW dead reported in Western sources included partisans, militia and civilian men of military age taken as POWs in the early stages of the war in 1941. In addition to the German-held POW Romania captured 82,090 Soviet POWs, 5,221 died, 3,331 escaped, and 13,682 were released Finland captured 64,188 Soviet POWs, at least 18,318 were documented to have died in Finnish prisoner of war camps. Topic. Analysis of S. N. Mikhailov In 2000 S. N. Mikhailov published a study of Soviet casualties. From 1989 to 1996 he was an associate of the Institute of Military History of the Ministry of Defense. Mikhailov disputed Krivashiv's figure of 8.7 million military war dead, he put Soviet military dead at more than 10.9 million persons based on his analysis of those conscripted. He maintained that the official figures could not be reconciled to the total men drafted and that POW deaths were understated. Mikhailov put the total irreplaceable losses at 13.7 million. He believed that the official figures understated POW and missing losses, that the deaths of service personnel convicted of offences were not included with the overall losses, and that the number who died of wounds was understated. Notes 
Topic: <laughs> Convicted of offenses by Soviet military. SN Mikhailov included in his figure irrecoverable losses the deaths of 994,300 Soviet military personnel that were convicted of offenses during the course of the war 422,700 sent to penal battalions, 135,000 executed and 436,600 imprisoned Stephen Rosefield estimated 1 million military deaths of men drafted from the Gulag into penal suicide battalions. <inaudible> Russian Military Archives Database An alternative method is to determine losses from the Russian Military Archives Database of individual war dead. S. A. Ilenkov, an official at the Russian Military Archives, maintained that the "...complex military situation at the front did not always allow for the conduct of a full accounting of losses, especially in the first years of the war." He pointed out that in the reports from the field units did not include deaths in rear area hospitals of wounded personnel. Ilenkov maintained that the information in the Russian Military Archives alphabetical card indexes is a priceless treasure of history, which can assist in resolving the problems of the price of Soviet victory. Ilenkov maintained it could provide an accurate accounting of war losses. He concluded by stating, we established the number of irreplaceable losses of our armed forces at the time of the Great Patriotic War of about 13,850,000. A more recent compilation made in March 2008 of the individuals listed in the card files put total dead and missing at 14,241,000 13,271,269 enlisted men and 970,000 officers. This database does not include all men killed in the war. Graves registration teams continue to identify war dead who are not currently included. Topic: <laughs> Critics Critics in Russia of the official figures base their arguments analyses of documents in the Soviet archives and on alternative demographic models of the Soviet population during the Stalin era. They requested that the Russian government reinvestigate the subject. Critics and their arguments include on February 14, 2017 at a hearing of the Russian State Duma a presentation by legislator Nikolai Zemtsov, a member of the non-governmental organization Immortal Regiment of Russia, maintained that documents of the now-defunct Soviet Gosplan indicated that Soviet war dead were almost 42 million 19 million military and 23 million civilians. However scholars believe that these figures are without serious foundation. Mark Solonin Solonin maintains that Krivashev covered up casualties that were three to four times greater than Germany's. Solonin claimed that Russian official sources that list deaths of 13.7 million civilians due to the German occupation include victims of Stalinist repression. He points out that the current figures for civilian war dead are taken from Soviet-era sources. Solonin estimates total losses as somewhat under 20 million. Military dead numbered at least 10.7 million, excluding 2.18 million soldiers who are unaccounted for, half of whom he assumed died. He asserted that some deserted or emigrated and that a higher death toll is possible. 
Solonen's estimate is that 5 to 6 million civilians were killed by the invaders, including 2.83 million Jews, and over 1 million civilians perished in the siege of Leningrad and in Stalingrad. He claimed that 6 to 9 million Soviets fell to Stalin's repressions, although in contemporary Russian official sources they are included with civilian war dead. Viktor Zemskov Zemskov maintained that the population loss due to the war was 20 million, including 16 million direct losses and 4 million deaths due to the deterioration in living conditions. He maintains that the Russian Academy of Science figure of 26.6 million total war dead includes about 7 million deaths due to natural causes based on the mortality rate that prevailed before the war. Zemskov maintains that military dead numbered 11.5 million, including nearly 4 million POWs. He maintains that the figure of 6.8 million civilian deaths in occupied regions was overstated because it included persons who were evacuated to the rear areas. He submitted an estimate of 4.5 million civilians who were Nazi victims or were killed in the occupied zone. Zemskov maintains that the government figure of 2.1 million civilian deaths due to forced labor in Germany was inflated compared to German wartime records that put the deaths of forced workers at 200,000. Igor Ivlev, washed in blood. Ivlev's study maintains that actual losses were 2 to 2.5 times more than 8.7 million. He puts losses at 38.5 million, including military dead of 20.58 million and 18 million civilians. He has requested that the Russian government conduct a new investigation. The study's data was based on death or MIA notifications, unclaimed personal bank deposits, front and rear hospital reports, Communist Party and Young Communist League membership files, the 1946 Soviet electorate and the changing gap between men and women before and after the war. Ivlev has presented a summary of his argument on the Russian website demoscope.ru. Lev Lopakovsky, Boris Kavalerchik Lopakovsky and Kavalerchik label Krivashev's transfer of military casualties to civilian losses as ingratitude and blasphemy over their cherished memory. They demanded that the Russian government reinvestigate the matter. They state that Krivashev's group understated loses in the crucial period of 1941–1942. Boris Sokolov, in 1996 Sokolov published a study that estimated total war dead at 43.3 million including 26.4 million in the military. Sokolov's calculations claimed that official population figures in 1941 were understated by 12.7 million and the population in 1946 overstated by 4.0 million, yielding 16.7 million additional war dead, bringing the total to 43.3 million. Russian demographer Rybakovsky dismissed these calculations as not being based on sound judgment. V. E. Koral Koral estimated overall Soviet war dead at 46 million including military dead of 23 million. He claimed that the official figure of 8.7 million military dead was groundless based on battle accounts from across the Eastern Front. Koral held that the official figures of Krivashev were an attempt to cover up the disregard for human life by the military leaders under Stalin. 
Koral cited Soviet authors writing during the Glasnost era that put wartime losses much higher than the official figures. In 1990, General I. A. Gerasimov published information from the Russian Military Archives database that put losses at 16.2 million enlisted men and 1.2 million officers. Koral also cited historian archivist U. Geller who put losses at 46 million, including military dead of 23 million, and A.N. Mertsalov's estimate of 14 million military dead based on documents in the Russian military archives. Hypothetical population loss for children unborn due to the war. Some Russian writers have argued that war losses should also include the hypothetical population loss for children unborn due to the war. Using this methodology, total losses would be about 46 million. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Male war dead. Andreev, Darsky and Karkova ADK put total losses at 26.6 million. The authors did not dispute Krivashev's report of 8.7 million military dead. Their demographic study estimated the total war dead of 26.6 million included 20.0 million males and 6.6 .6 million females. In mid-1941 the USSR hosted 8.3 million more females, by 1946 this gap had grown to 22.8 million, an increase of 13.5 million. Krivashev's rebuttal In 2002 Krivashev defended his report. He maintained that it was derived in a scientific manner by a team of professional researchers who had access to the military archives and that it reflected a realistic view of casualties based on the operational situation during the war. He maintained that the database of individual war dead is unreliable because some personnel records are duplicated and others omitted. <inaudible> <inaudible> Civilian losses A 1995 paper published by the MV Philomashin, an associate of the Russian Defense Ministry, put the civilian death toll in the regions occupied by Germany at 13.7 million. Philomashin cited sources from Soviet era to support his figures and used the terms genocide and premeditated extermination. When referring to deaths of 7.4 million civilians caused by direct, intentional violence. Civilians killed in reprisals during the Soviet Partisan War account for a major portion. Philomashin estimated that civilian forced laborer deaths in Germany totaled 2.1 million. Germany had a policy of forced confiscation of food that resulted in famine deaths of an estimated 6% of the population or 4.1 million. Russian government sources currently cite these civilian casualty figures in their official statements. The sources cited for these figures are from the Soviet period the statistic of 7.420 million civilian war dead has been disputed by Viktor Zemskov who believed that the actual civilian death toll was 4.5 million. He maintained that the official figures included POWs, persons who emigrated from the country and militia, partisan fighters. 
According to his analysis he forced laborer death figure of 2.164 million includes the balance of losses not reported in Krivashiv's figure of 8.668 million military war dead, including POWs. Civilian losses include 57,000 killed in bombing raids 40,000 Stalingrad and 17,000 Leningrad. Russian sources include Jewish Holocaust deaths among total civilian dead. Gilbert put Jewish losses at 1 million within 1939 borders. Holocaust deaths in the annexed territories numbered an additional 1.5 million, bringing total Jewish losses to 2.5 million. Civilian losses include deaths in the siege of Leningrad. According to David Glantz the 1945 Soviet estimate presented at the Nuremberg trials was 642,000 civilian deaths. He noted that Soviet-era source from 1965 put the number of dead in the siege of Leningrad at greater than 800,000, and that a Russian source from 2000 put the number of dead at 1 million. Other Russian historians put the Leningrad death toll at between 1.4 and 2.0 million. Russian sources maintain that there were 4.1 million famine deaths in the regions occupied by Germany. The figure also includes 100,000 POWs included as civilians. Russian sources also report 2.5 to 3.2 million Soviet civilians who died due to famine and disease in non-occupied territory of the USSR, which was caused by wartime shortages in the rear areas. These casualties are for 1941–1945 within the 1946–1991 borders of the USSR. Included with civilian losses are deaths in the territories annexed by the USSR in 1939–1940 including 600,000 in the Baltic states and 1,500,000 in eastern Poland. Documents from the Soviet archives number the total deaths of prisoners in the Gulag from 1941 to 1945 at 621,637. In a 1995 report Viktor Zemskov noted due to general difficulties in 1941–1945 in the camps, the gulag and prisons about 1.0 million prisoners died. Mark Solonin claimed that the figures of civilian casualties were deliberately inflated in order to hide the number of Stalin's own victims. Solonin's estimates of civilian casualties are 5 to 6 million killed by Germans including Holocaust victims and over a million who died during the sieges of Leningrad and Stalingrad. The attitude of the Germans toward the non-Jewish Soviet population, as he states, while cruel, was pragmatical and thus not genocidal. Exceptions happened, but not as a general policy. Also, he claims that the Soviet documents for civilian casualties per republic are inconsistent with the populations of said republics, unless one assumes the soldiers who died while held in camps upon that territory are included. <laughs> Total population losses Topic. Demographic studies of the population losses Topic. Studies by Andreev, Darsky and Karkova E. M. Andreev, L. E. Darsky and T. L. Karkova. A. D. K. 
authored The Population of the Soviet Union 1922–1991, which was published by the Russian Academy of Science in 1993. Andreev worked in the Department of Demography Research Institute of the Central Statistical Bureau now the Research Institute of Statistics of Federal State Statistical Service of Russia. The study estimated total Soviet war losses of 26.6 million. As of 2015 this was the official Russian government figure for total losses. These losses are a demographic estimate rather than an exact accounting. Notes According to Andreev, Darsky and Karkova ADK, the total population loss due to the war was 26.6 million 1941 They maintain that between 9 to 10 million of the total Soviet war dead were due to the worsening of life conditions in the entire USSR, including the region that was not occupied. The total loss of 26.6 million is based on the assumptions that the wartime increase in infant mortality was 1.3 million and that persons dying of natural causes declined during the war. Overall the annual mortality rate persons dying of natural causes declined from 2.17% in 1940 to 1.58% 1 in 1946 the decline in persons dying of natural causes during the war was due to the fact that a disproportionate number of adults especially men were killed during the war than those persons under 18 and women who survived survived. The figure for births during the war is based on a post-war survey of the total fertility rate which put the number of births during the war at about one-half of the pre-war level. The main areas of uncertainty were the estimated figures for the population in the territories annexed from 1939 to 1945 and the loss of population due to emigration during and after the war. The figures include victims of Soviet repression and the deaths of Soviet citizens in German military service. Michael Haynes noted. We do not know the total number of deaths as a result of the war and related policies. We do know that the demographic estimate of excess deaths was 26.6 million plus an additional 11.9 million natural deaths of persons born before the war and 4.2 million children born during the war that would have occurred in peacetime, bringing the total dead to 42.7 million. At this time the actual total number of deaths caused by the war is unknown since among the 16.1 million natural deaths, some would have died peacefully and others as a result of the war. Civilian deaths were detailed in the Russian study Human Losses of the USSR in the period of World War II, civilian deaths by intentional actions of violence 7,420,000 deaths of forced laborers 2,164,000 deaths due to famine and disease 8,500,000 including 4.1 million in the occupied territories. The official total military dead per the analysis of Krivoshev is 8,668,000. The Russian Ministry of Defense maintains that their figure of 8.668 million is correct based on a reconciliation of those conscripted. The official toll of 2,164,000 forced laborers dead could include POWs considered civilians by the military. Critics of Krivoshev maintain that the war dead should include an additional 2.9 million persons. According to their analysis, the number of POWs and missing was understated in the official figures. 
Viktor Zemskov puts total military dead 1941 to 45 at 11.5 million a recent academic study put Soviet military dead at 11.4 million in addition to the war dead there were 622,000 persons who remained abroad after the war. Births and natural deaths during war are rough estimates since vital statistics were inaccurate. Figures do not include an estimated 20 million children not born because the war depressed fertility, birth rates. ADK pointed out that the beginning population in 1941 and the ending population at 1 January 1946 are rough estimates since figures for the territories annexed in 1939–1940 and emigration from the USSR during the war are based on fragmentary information, remarks, 0 to 14 the deaths of 2.8 million children was due primarily to famine and disease caused by the war. 15 to 19 the excess deaths of 724,000 males compared to females was due primarily to military losses. The wartime draft age was 18. 20 to 34 the excess deaths of 6,342,000 males compared to females was due primarily to military losses. The deaths of 2,663,000 women is an indication that they were involved in the partisan war and became victims of Nazi reprisals. 35 to 49 the excess deaths of 5,358,000 males compared to females was due primarily to military losses. Over 49 the excess deaths of 1,038,000 males compared to females was due primarily to military losses. Some served in the armed forces. Others were involved in the partisan war and became victims of Nazi reprisals. All ages the excess deaths of 13,489,000 males compared to females was due primarily to military losses with regular forces as well partisan forces. The figures are a clear indication that many Soviet civilians died in the war from reprisals, famine and disease. <laughs> Voters' lists in 1946 election Another study, The Demographic History of Russia 1927–1959, analyzed voters in the February 1946 Soviet election to estimate the surviving population over the age of 18 at the end of the war. The population under 18 was estimated based on the 1959 census. Official records listed 101.7 million registered voters and 94.0 million actual voters, 7.7 .7 million less than the expected figure. ADK maintained that the official results of the 1946 election are not a good source for estimating the population. They claimed that the total of expected voters should be increased by 10.5 million because the role of voters excluded those deprived of their rights, in prison or in exile. ADK maintained that many young military men did not participate in the election, and an overestimation of women in rural areas without internal passports who sought to avoid compulsory heavy labor. Included in the voter total were 29.9 million excess women. However number of expected voters estimated by ADK the gap between males and females was 21.4 million, which approximates the 20.7 million gap revealed by the 1959 census. 
The pre-war population of 1939 including the annexed territories had an excess of 7.9 million females. The ADK analysis found that the gap had increased by about 13.5 million. Topic: <laughs> Alternative sources of demographic losses. Russian demographer Rybakovsky found a wide range of estimates for total war dead. He estimated the actual population in 1941 at 196.7 million and losses at 27 to 28 million. He cited figures that range from 21.7 to 46 million. Rybakovsky acknowledged that the components used to compute losses are uncertain and disputed. Population estimates for mid-1941 range from 191.8 to 200.1 million, while the population at the end of 1945 range from 167.0 million up to 170.6 million. Based on the pre-war birth rate, the population shortfall was about 20 million births in 1946. Some were born and died during the war, while the balance was never born. Only rough estimates are available for each group. Estimates for the population of the territories annexed from 1939 to 45 range from 17 to 23 million persons. Rybakovsky provided a list of the various estimates of Soviet war losses by Russian scholars since 1988. Topic Calculation of military and civilian losses by Nikolai Savchenko The work of independent researcher Nikolai Savchenko has been published on the Russian website Demoscope Weekly. Savchenko puts the total population loss due to the war at 25.1 million persons, 16.0 million men of draft age, 7.7 .7 million civilians, and 1.4 million persons who left the USSR after the war. Savchenko analyzed the structure of the population in 1959 census giving a detailed breakout of the gap between women and men. He pointed out that in the draft age population born between 1889 to 1928 there were 18.43 million more women than men. In 1939 census the gap was 3.48 million, the balance of 15 15.0 million more women occurring during the war years. The loss of men during the war years increased by 6.5 times, the loss of women in the war years was three times higher than the normal peacetime, children—2 times, the elderly—1.5 times. The excessive loss of civilians women, children, the elderly during the war amounted to 7.4 million people. On the territory occupied by the Nazis, 4.05 million civilians died in excess of the normal conditions. Among them there were approximately 2.1 million Jews—victims of genocide. Thus, non-Jewish victims among civilians in the occupied lands account for about 1.95 million. And not all of them were victims of terror by the invaders. Some of them died as a result of deteriorated living conditions or in the course of hostilities assaults, shelling and bombings. In the rear territories, the excessive mortality of civilians women, children, the elderly, excluding men amounted to 3.34 million—about 1.5 times greater than the loss of the non-Jewish population in the occupied areas. 
Such a high mortality rate in the Soviet rear can easily be explained by systematic malnutrition, extreme housing conditions, lack of medical care, excessive physical labor by millions of women and teenagers, all of the above particularly affected refugees, evacuated and deported people. Igor Ivlev In 2017 the Russian historian Igor Ivlev put Soviet war dead at 42 million people 19.4 million military and 22.6 million civilians. According to Ivlev Soviet State Planning Committee documents put the Soviet population at 205 million in June 1941 and 169.8 million for June 1945. Taking into account the 17.6 million births and 10.3 million natural deaths, leaving almost 42 million in war-related losses according to his research. The details of Ivlev's calculations were first announced at a parliamentary readings about the number of losses of the USSR during the Great Patriotic War. Ivlev's figures are endorsed by the Russian civic organization Immortal Regiment and have been discussed in the Russian media recently. Ivlev has published a summary of his arguments on the Russian website Demoscope Wielki. According to Ivlev's calculations based on the number of Soviet Communist Party and Komsomol members conscripted, military dead and missing were 17.8 million. However some scholars believe that Ivlev's calculations are without serious foundation. Estimates of losses by individual republics Former Soviet republics The contemporary nations that were formerly Soviet republics dispute Krivoshev's analysis. In a live broadcast of December 16, 2010, a conversation with Vladimir Putin he maintained that the Russian Federation had suffered the greatest proportional losses in World War II—70 percent of the total. Official estimates by the former republics of the USSR claim military casualties exceeding those of Krivoshev's report by 3.5 times. It is claimed by the website Sovsekretno.ru that there are no memory books published in the USSR, Russia and the other contemporary republics in the 80s and 90s listing casualties of 25% of the draft or less, but there are many memory books with 50% and more with some telling us of a 70, 75, 76 and up to 79% mortality rate among the conscripted, a. Uh, the Ukrainian authorities and historians ardently dispute these figures. They put the military casualties alone may be estimated as exceeding 7 million, according to the final volume of the Ukrainian book, In the Memory of Posterity. And research of V. E. Koral, writes an American former Soviet doctor of history villain Lyalechnik. Former President of Ukraine Viktor Yanukovych maintains that Ukraine has lost more than 10 million lives during the Second World War. The military casualties alone may be estimated as exceeding 7 million, according to the final volume of the Ukrainian book, In the Memory of Posterity. 
and research of V. E. Koral, writes an American former Soviet doctor of history villain Lyalechnik, b. According to a Belarusian military historian, doctor of history, Professor V. Lemshanik, the Belarusian military casualties, including partisans and underground group members, exceed 682,291. C. The memory book of Tatarstan government contains names of about 350,000 inhabitants of the republic, mostly Tatars. D. Israeli historian Yitzhak Arad maintains that about 200,000. Soviet Jews or 40% of all draft were killed in battles or captivity. The highest percentage of all nations of the USSR, e. Kazakhstan estimates its military casualties at 601,029, f. Armenians estimate their military casualties at over 300,000, g. Georgians also estimate their military casualties at over 300,000, i. Among the others Azerbaijans claim military casualties of 300,000 100,000, Bashkirs of about 300,000, Mordvas of 130,000 and Chuvashas of 106,470. But one of the most tragic figures comes from a far eastern republic of Yakutia and its small nation. 37,965 citizens, mostly Yakuts, or 60.74% of 62,509 drafted have not returned home with 7,000 regarded missing. About 69,000 died of severe famine in the Republic. This nation could not restore its population even under 1959 census. The record-breaking estimates of 700,000 military casualties out of a total 1.25 million Turkmenian citizens with slightly less than 60% being Turkmens are attributed to the late president of Turkmenistan Supremarat Niyazov. Historians do not regard them trustworthy. Estimated losses for each Soviet Republic Russian historian Vadim Ehrlichman pegs total war deaths at 10.7 million, exceeding Krivoshev's 8.7 million by an extra 2 million. This extra 2 million would presumably include Soviet POWs that died in Nazi captivity, partisans, and militia. The source of the figures on the table is Vadim Ehrlichman. Poteri Narodone Zelenia VXX Veke, Spravachnik. Moscow 2004. ISBN 5-93165-107-1 pp. 23-35 Ehrlichman notes that these figures are his estimates. This table includes civilian losses in Transcaucasian and Central Asian republics due to famine and disease caused by wartime shortfalls estimated by Vadim Ehrlichman. <laughs> OBD Memorial Database The names of Soviet war dead are presented at the OBD Central Data Bank Memorial Database online. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Communist Party and Komsomol losses. Members of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and the Komsomol, military as well as civilians, suffered a disproportionate share of the war dead. At the beginning of the war there were almost 4.0 million Communist Party members, 5.0 million joined the party during the war, at the end of the war there were 6.0 million party members. 3.0 million party members, military as well as civilians, lost their lives in the war. 
There were 1.7 million Komsomol members in the Army and Navy when the war broke out 5.0 million and 2.5 million Komsomol remained at the end of the war a decline of 4.2 million, not all were war losses because one half of the new Communist Party members came from the Komsomol in Joseph Stalin's speech at a meeting with the Creative Intelligentsia in 1946. He said, over the first six months of the war more than 500,000 communists perished on the fronts, more than 3 million during the war. During the three years of the Great Patriotic War, the share of communists in the armed forces doubled and by the end of 1944 it was 23% in the army and 31.5% in the navy. At the end of 1944, there were 3,030,758 communists in the armed forces, which amounted to 52.6% of the total party membership. During the year, the network of primary party organizations expanded considerably. On January 1, 1944, there were 67,089 in the Army and Navy. On January 1, 1945, 78,640. Topic: <laughs> Causes. The Red Army suffered catastrophic losses of men and equipment during the first months of the German invasion. In the spring of 1941, Stalin ignored the warnings of his intelligence services of a planned German invasion and refused to put the armed forces on alert. The bulk of the Soviet combat units were deployed in the border regions in a lower state of readiness. In the face of the German onslaught the Soviet forces were caught by surprise. Large numbers of Soviet soldiers were captured and many perished due to the brutal mistreatment of POWs by the Nazis. U.S. Army historians maintain the high Soviet losses can be attributed to less efficient medical services and the Soviet tactics, which throughout the war tended to be expensive in terms of human life. Russian scholars attribute the high civilian death toll to the Nazi general plan Ost which treated the Soviet people as subhumans. They use the terms genocide and premeditated extermination. When referring to civilian losses in the occupied USSR, German occupation policies implemented under the Hunger Plan resulted in the confiscation of food stocks which resulted in famine in the occupied regions. During the Soviet era the partisan campaign behind the lines was portrayed as the struggle of the local population against the German occupation. To suppress the partisan units the Nazi occupation forces engaged in a campaign of brutal reprisals against innocent civilians. Historian Albert Seaton maintains that the Soviet government's disregard for life and its contempt for any form of humanity and decency was one of the decisive factors in recruiting and control of the partisan movement. According to Seton the local population was coerced by the Soviet-led partisans to support their campaign which led to the reprisals. The extensive fighting destroyed agricultural land, infrastructure, and whole towns, leaving much of the population homeless and without food. During the war Soviet civilians were taken to Germany as forced laborers under inhuman conditions. Topic. Summary of the estimates and their sources Estimates for Soviet losses in the Second World War range from 7 million to over 43 million. 
During the communist era in the Soviet Union historical writing about World War II was subject to censorship and only official approved statistical data was published. In the USSR during the Glasnost period under Gorbachev and in post-communist Russia the casualties in World War II were re-evaluated and the official figures revised. Topic: 1946 to 1987. Joseph Stalin, in March 1946, stated that Soviet war losses were 7 million dead. This was to be the official figure until the Khrushchev era. In November 1961 Nikita Khrushchev stated that Soviet war losses were 20 million, this was to be the official figure until the Gorbachev era of Glasnost. Leonid Brezhnev in 1965 put the Soviet death toll in the war at more than 20 million. Ivan Konev in a May 1965 Soviet Ministry of Defense press conference stated that Soviet military dead in World War II were 10 million. In 1971 the Soviet demographer Boris Erlanis put losses at 20 million including 6,074,000 civilians and 3,912,000 prisoners of war killed by Nazi Germany. Germany, military dead were put at 10 million. Documents from the Extraordinary State Commission prepared in March 1946, not but published until the 1990s, listed 6,074,857 civilians killed, 3,912,283 prisoner of war dead, 3,999,790. 96 deaths during German forced labor and 641,803 civilian deaths during Siege of Leningrad. The Soviet General Staff in July 1945 put losses at 7,660,000 dead and missing, however, the General Staff's figures were not published at that time. Also, 688,772 Soviet citizens who remained in Western countries after the war were included with the war losses. A study of the combat casualties of the forces at the front was prepared in the 1960s by the Soviet General Staff, but it was not published until 1993 by Krivoshev. The figures in the study listed irrecoverable losses of 10,109,000 personnel, 5,226,800 killed in action, 1,102,800 died of wounds, 555,500 non-combat deaths, 5,059,000 POWs and missing less 1,836,000 prisoners prisoners returned to the Soviet Union. When Krivoshev published the study in 1993 he made adjustments that reduced the total to 8,668,400. The figure of 20 million war dead, cited prior to 1990, included 13.9 million military, 10.0 million losses of the frontal combat units and 3.9 million other military losses listed as prisoner of war dead. Civilian deaths of 6.1 million civilians were listed by the Extraordinary State Commission. The figure of 4.0 million deaths during German forced labor was probably a figure to account for an increase in natural deaths due to famine and disease and a decline in births. Topic 1988 to 1992. 
During the period of Glasnost the official figure of 20 million war dead was challenged by Soviet scholars. In 1988–1989 estimates of 26 to 28 million total war dead appeared in the Soviet press. The Russian scholar Dmitry Volkogonov writing at this time estimated total war deaths at 26–27 million including 10 million in the military. In March 1989 Mikhail Gorbachev set up a committee to investigate Soviet losses in the war. In a May 1990 speech Gorbachev gave the figure for total Soviet losses at almost 27 million. This revised figure was the result of research by the committee set up by Gorbachev that estimated total war dead at between 26 and 27 million. In January 1990 M.A. Moisev chief of the general staff of the Soviet Armed Forces disclosed for the first time in an interview that Soviet military war dead totaled 8,668,400. In 1991 the Russian scholar A.A. Shevyakov published an article with summary of civilian losses based on his analysis of the archival records of the Soviet Extraordinary State Commission. Civilian dead were given as 17.7 million in a second article in 1992 A.A. Shevyakov gave a figure of 20.8 million civilian dead, no explanation for the difference was given. <inaudible> <inaudible> Russian government reports 1993–95 In 1993 the Russian Ministry of Defense published a study by Krivoshev that gave a detailed accounting of Soviet military losses for the campaigns in the war. Total Soviet military dead and missing were put at 8,668 million. These figures were based on an official report of the Soviet General Staff from 1966 to 1968 that was previously classified secret. A report published by the Russian Academy of Science in 1993 estimated that the total Soviet population losses were 26.6 million. This is a current official figure for total losses in the war. In 1995 the Russian Academy of Science published an article that analyzed Soviet civilian losses of 26.6 million in the war. They estimated civilian deaths in the German-occupied USSR at 13.684 million, which includes 7.420 million victims of Nazi genocide and reprisals, 2.164 million deaths of persons deported to Germany for forced labor, 4.100 million famine and disease deaths in occupied territory and an in increase in infant mortality of 1.280 million. They also estimated an additional 2.5 to 3.2 excess million civilian deaths due to famine in Soviet territory not occupied by the Germans. The figure of 2.164 million deaths of persons deported to Germany for forced labor probably includes POWs considered civilians in the Krivoshev study. The figure of 7.420 million victims of Nazi genocide and reprisals probably includes the 6.075 million civilians killed, 642,000 famine deaths during the siege of Leningrad and 700,000 Soviet citizens who did not return after the war. Russians published in the West 1950–83 
In 1949 a Soviet Colonel Kalinov defected to the West, he published a book claiming that Soviet records indicated the military loss of 13.6 million men including 2.6 million POW dead. Sergei Maksudov a Russian demographer living in the West estimated Soviet war losses at between 24.5 and 27.4 million, including 7.5 million military dead. The Soviet mathematician Iosif G. Dyadkin published a study in the United States that estimated the total Soviet population losses from 1939 to 45 due to the war and political repression at 30 million. Dyadkin was imprisoned for publishing this study in the West. Western scholars Historians writing outside of the Soviet Union and Russia have evaluated the various Russian language sources and have offered their estimates of Soviet war dead. Here is a listing of estimates by recognized scholars published in the West. David Glantz maintains that the war with Nazi Germany cost the Soviet Union at least 29 million military casualties dead, wounded and sick. The exact numbers can never be established, and some revisionists have attempted to put the number as high as 50 million. Richard Overy believes the Figures for Military Dead published in 1993 give the fullest account yet available, but they omit three operations that were clear failures. The official figures themselves must be viewed critically, given the difficulty of knowing in the chaos of 1941 and 1942 exactly who had been killed, wounded or even conscripted." Regarding military dead Richard Overy believes that for the present the figure of 8.6 million must be regarded as the most reliable. Norman Davies points out that not all Soviet war dead were killed by the Nazis, many perished due to Soviet repression. Davies notes it lies in the nature of the problem that the victims of Soviet wartime repressions cannot be easily quantified. The records of the victorious Soviets, unlike those of the defeated Nazis have never been opened for scrutiny. Whether the fraction of Soviet civilians who perished at the hands of their own regime was one quarter, one third or even one half of the whole will never be firmly established until the Soviet government itself comes clean. The authors of the Cambridge History of Russia have provided an analysis of Soviet wartime casualties. Overall losses were about 25 million persons plus or minus 1 million. Red Army records indicate 8.7 million military deaths. This figure is actually the lower limit. The official figures understate POW losses and armed partisan deaths. Excess civilian deaths in the Nazi-occupied USSR were 13.7 million persons including 2 million Jews. There were an additional 2.6 million deaths in the interior regions of the Soviet Union. The authors maintain, "...scope for error in this number is very wide." At least one million perished in the wartime gulag camps or in deportations. Other deaths occurred in the wartime evacuations and due to war-related malnutrition and disease in the interior. The authors maintain that both Stalin and Hitler were both responsible but in different ways. For these deaths, the authors of the Cambridge History of Russia believe that 
In short the general picture of Soviet wartime losses suggests a jigsaw puzzle. The general outline is clear, people died in colossal numbers but in many different miserable and terrible circumstances. But individual pieces of the puzzle do not fit well, some overlap and others are yet to be found. Stephen Rosefield puts the war-related demographic losses of the USSR from 1941 to 45 at 22.0 to 26.0 million persons, 7.8 million military and 14.2 to 18.2 million civilians. The actual wartime losses are higher because some persons who would have died peacefully actually perished as a result of the war. Rosefield estimated the actual military dead at 8.7 million men and 17.7 to 20.3 million civilians killed by the Nazis in the war exterminated, shot, gassed burned 6.4 or 11.3 million, famine and disease 8.5 or 6.5 million, forced laborer in Germany 2.8 or 3.0 million and 500,000 who did not return to USSR after war. In addition to these war deaths, Rosefield also estimated the excess deaths attributed to the total potential crimes against humanity due to Soviet repression at 2.183 million persons in 1939-40 and 5.458 million from 1941 to 1945. The figures for losses due to Soviet repression do not include 1 million military deaths of men drafted from the Gulag into penal suicide battalions. Topic. See also Nazi crimes against Soviet POWs Soviet historiography Soviet women in World War II The Holocaust in Russia World War II casualties Come and see Topic notes Carat A1 The Krivashiv study listed 8,668,400 irreplaceable losses, 5,226,800 killed in action, 1,102,800 died of wounds in field hospitals, 555,500 non-combat deaths, POW deaths and missing were 1,700,000. 183,300 to arrive at his figure of 1.783 million POWs. Mia Krivashiv deducted 939,700 from the number listed as missing and excluded 500,000 conscripted reservists killed or died as POWs. Krivashiv maintains that he excluded from those missing reservists who were never inducted into the service but reported missing by family members, others were reported missing but recovered during the war and some records were duplicated. Krivashiv lists the detailed losses for each of the 54 army fronts and naval fleets not including border, security troops. Irrecoverable losses add down to 5,184,749 killed in action, 534,273 non-combat deaths and 4,452,346 POWs and missing. He also lists the following data separately 1,102,800 died of wounds in field hospitals, 500,000 conscripted reservists killed or died as POWs, 1,836,500 POWs who returned to the Soviet Union were deducted from the missing, these figures include 94,662 civilians in military 
military service, which included women, communications and transport personnel. Not included with the 54 Army fronts and naval fleets are the losses of 159,100 border and security troops. Additional losses included 267,394 died of illness in field hospitals, 135,000 convicts executed, 422,700 convicts sent to penal units at the front. These losses total 10,921,900 Krivashiv's analysis has been disputed by historians in the West who put POW losses not including Mia at 3.3 million Viktor Zemskov put POW dead and missing in action at 3.9 million 5.9 million reported missing less 2.0 million released. According to Zemskov about 2.0 million are included with civilian losses not included with the war dead are 436,600 convicts imprisoned, 212,400 deserters dead or missing. These figures do not include the deaths of wounded and sick in rear area hospitals, S.N. Mihalev maintained that total losses were 13.7 million when these losses are included. Civilian casualties, according to official Russian sources, 7.420 million civilians were killed. They also estimated the demographic loss due to famine and disease was 4.1 million in the occupied territory. A separate study in Russia put the demographic loss in the region not occupied at 2.5 to 3.2 million civilians the figures include an increase in infant mortality of 1.3 million during the war Viktor Zemskov believed the number of civilian war dead were 8.5 million 4.5 million victims of Nazi repression and 4.0 million deaths due famine and disease Zemeskov maintained that the remaining balance of civilian losses reported in Russian official sources were actually military POWs and missing, paramilitary personnel and persons who emigrated after the war. Zemskov maintained that the total war dead were 20.0 million, 8.5 million civilians and 11.5 million military.